Ahmed S. Fairlead Utility Week with Renault Gallus, VP Marketing and Ecosystem of Thingstra. We're going to talk about Syncbox for smart metering applications. What is beneficial to Syncbox for smart metering as opposed to traditional wireless networks? Well, the big advantage of Syncbox is first uh, when the network is there. And then we, we build that network, uh, like Slack's build that they worked six months ago. So compared to all the technologies in, uh, in that space, uh, the network is there. That's very important. Uh, second aspect is the, the power consumption. Very, very low power consumption. If you compare that to, to 3G, uh, 300 times less power consuming. Um, so very low power consuming. Um, if you talk in terms of, uh, of range, uh, you can connect a water meter 50 kilometers away from, uh, uh, from the gateway. So very long range. And in terms of cost, I think it's maybe it always comes down to, to the cost. Uh, you have a solution uh, that can cost, in terms of connectivity, as low as two dollars uh, per year per device. So altogether, uh, those new technology uh, and Sigfox being uh, the most mature of them and the most uh, present uh, makes it very, uh, very exciting. To ch really changing the way uh, utilities are connecting things or their meters. So what's the current coverage of Sigfox in Australia? But, uh, we've been working hard on this. Uh, so at the moment, uh, we're covering uh, all the major cities in, uh, in Australia and uh, New Zealand. Uh, we're covering 65% of the population in Australia and 79% of the population in, uh, in uh, New Zealand. As of today. Uh, as of today. As of today. So that's, uh, that's been done in the space of uh, uh, less than six months. And uh, we should be covering 95% of the population by October 2017. So another six, seven, eight months uh, to finalize the building. So a device will transmit to the Syncbox gateway, and then how does the gateway turn that data into useful information? What is the next step? So from the gateway, the data goes to the Sigfox Cloud. Uh, so all the data is compiled to the Sigfox Cloud. And then after that, through uh, API, uh, you can send that data automatically to whatever platform you're using. So there's plenty of platforms uh, being used by water utilities, from Future Grid uh, to Outpost Central, to uh, uh, Eagle IO, to Buddy. Uh, I think there's like over 200 different uh, IoT platforms. So uh, the data, we have the, the, the API in place to send the data automatically to whatever platform the, the utility is using. So with it being low power consumption, how long would someone expect this smart meter to last on a battery if it's just sending one meter reading once a day? So we, we made our calculation on two reading a day and uh, with battery to last 15 years. Uh, so water meter, uh, we sell this on a small battery that fits inside the water meter. Uh, the aim is to last 15 years. So it's quite long. So if you have one reading a day, you might, you might last 20 years. Can you describe how Sigfox is well suited to penetrate into areas where water meters are commonly found, below metal pits in the pavement, in basements, in hard to reach specific areas? So the, the, the way the, the frequency has been the design uh, is uh, it's what we call narrow band, and uh, so it can punch through uh, even very polluted uh, environment, and uh, even punch through like a uh, deep in door. Uh, it's one of the big advantages of Sigfox uh, with a coverage uh, not too close to where the, the device is. You can still penetrate it. Six meters underground, it's covered by a metal, a metal metal cover. You can still manage to get uh, to get access to the data. So the, the level of TBM is quite high, and uh, so that's that's the reason why very narrow, high TBM to penetrate in uh, tough environment. Quite unique. Right? And how does someone start using the Sigfox network in Australia? <laughs> Not everyone can use it. We usually it's embedded with the, uh, with the, the, the water meter or the GPS tracker. Uh, that connectivity, the 
device is already uh, Sigfox ready. Uh, chipset, different suppliers of chipset, and uh, so those devices are already bit the network. And it's just buying a subscription to access that data on a specific device that lets you access the data. So by default, the device works. The meter network, and if you pay your subscription, you can access that data. That's the way it works. Uh, so paying a subscription, you're not going to buy one subscription for one device. And usually, it's a uh, case of what you think is. You're going to pay like 100,000 devices, and they're going to pay a subscription for all those devices. So you would be delivering devices into the world through channel partners. Correct. And you would have an ecosystem. That. Correct, so those channel partners will be the one providing the device with the connectivity and you'll pay a yearly connectivity or possibly embedded already with five years connectivity with the device so you never pay. Yeah, the next cost is that low, you can embed it into the exactly. device as if, capital. If you have a GPS tracker uh, that costs $20, uh, with the connectivity $5, why not make it $50 and include five years connectivity in it? Or, and um, so more likely the channel partners will present it to the customer in a way that um, they're not paying for the connectivity on a yearly basis. It could be embedded, it could be on the leasing, the charging the five dollars per month, including the platform. Um, so it's going to be different scenarios. Uh, one sure thing is that we're not going to sell uh, a five dollar connectivity to each cons consumer. Yeah. Uh, it's like your mobile phone. Yeah. Uh, you pay a subscription with Telstra, and, uh, in our case scenario you will be able to buy directly from us uh, your, your connectivity. Uh, it would be depending on your channel partner. Depending on the solution you'll be providing. Yeah, so some channel partner may pass on the cost for recurring to the end user, mm -hmm. some may absorb it anywhere in between. So it depends on the device, it depends on the solution. Uh, when you talk what your infinity is, uh, 15 years contract, very large number of devices, uh, connected to the network, more likely it's not going to be embedded in the cost of the water meter. Yeah. Uh, even the night charge on a monthly basis, uh, as more devices connected to the network will charge on a monthly basis. And what is the future of the thing, Scott? What are your goals for the next few years? So, in fact, uh, we, I mean, the marketing side, uh, we review the, the number of connections we estimate for the market for Australia and New Zealand. And uh, over the next 10 years, we think there will be over 200 million devices connected with Australia and New Zealand through LP1 technology. So, and we uh, estimate that of those 200 million devices, uh, at least 40% will be connected to the CIFAR network. It's not limited to the, the water utilities. Yeah. Uh, that market for us, 10 million devices. So, 5% of that overall market. So what are some other examples of SyncFox beyond smart metering where SyncFox can be used for any other application? So in the case of smart city, you have the usual beams being connected, lighting, uh, smart parking. In the case of uh, industry, asset tracking is a big thing, uh, being able to track anything. In e-health, for Alzheimer patient, being able to GPS track that, that'd be quite uh, quite important um, to do uh, in agriculture. I mean, cattle monitoring is a big thing, but it can be as silly as uh, tracking your pet or your bike uh, or shopping trolley yeah. or, or a pallet. That's what you can do now because it's so cheap. Yeah, Why not committing all those things? You suddenly realize that all the things that you lose all the time could be avoided. You could be tracking yeah. them. And in five years time, you may be even connecting your wallet. Yeah. Be able to GPS track your wallet wherever it is. Wherever it is. Yeah. I want to track my wallet. That's another story. Excellent. All right. Well, thank you very much. Thank you, Ryan.